Carbon Robotics Laser Weeder uses AI and lasers, of course, to zap weeds as it runs across the field. Now, we featured the product several times on this program. Check out precisionfarmingdealer.com for the nuts and bolts. But today, we are catching up with Carbon Robotics founder and CEO, Paul Mikesell, for an update on how the machine's performing. Paul tells us from an ROI perspective, Laser Weeder pays for itself within three years with an 80% reduction in weed control bills. That's a number that comes from a couple different growers on the West Coast. And Mike Sell says the technology is evolving. They're working on a new function that would allow the laser weeder to thin an overseeded field. Thinning is a process in combination with uh, overseeding. Thinning is a process where you'll go in and kill some of those plants that are germinating, but would cause space constraints. And that has been typically done today with either hand labor or, or some form of herbicide spray, um, which has the same issues, cost, effectiveness, drift problems. Um, in certain areas of the country, there's limits to the amount of nitrogen inputs you can add, and these herbicides all have some amount of that. So, so thinning with the laser weeder turns out to be a really good fit because we already can tell what's happening on the ground. We already have lasers to kill vegetable matter, kill plant matter. And so we had to upgrade our computer vision a little bit to be able to detect not just the weeds, but the crops and the configuration of the crops and how close they are to each other so that we can do optimal spacing through a thinning pass. Now, laser weeders are currently deployed primarily on the West Coast, but Mike Sell says there are plans in the works to get some in Canada and the East Coast in 2024. In the technology corner, I'm Noah Newman.